The Kia Forte doesn't have the perennial bestseller badge that the Honda Civic and Ford Focus does, but it's new this year with an updated mission, chase after the competition. Now, does it have what it takes? Hi, I'm Joel Fetter, and we'll take a look at this and more in our video road test of the 2014 Kia Forte. Good looks run in the Kia family now, and the Forte is no exception. In fact, it wears its lines better than some of its larger siblings. Now, it's related to the Hyundai Elantra, but its lower, longer, and wider stance lends itself well to the details, such as the wraparound taillights and swept-back headlights. It has a sports car-like raked-back windshield, and there's no denying the handsome side profile. Overall, it's a knockout. Moving inside the Forte caps years of advancement at Kia. Now, this dashboard is simple yet sculptural. We like that. We also appreciate the fact that the center stack isn't large and bulky. Some Fortes have a large LCD screen in the middle of the dashboard, and these climate controls couldn't be simpler to use. Frankly, this dashboard wouldn't feel out of place in the larger sibling, the Optima. As I mentioned before, the Kia Forte is now lower, longer, and wider. Some might think that hinders interior space, but it doesn't. It's just been reconfigured. Front passengers are going to have no problems here. The seats offer a wide range of adjustability, and that even allows for taller passengers with plenty of headroom. Unfortunately, the seats could use a bit more support. In the back, it's a typical compact car story. There isn't quite enough headroom for six-footers, but there's plenty of legroom, and the wide door openings make entry and exit easy. Now, at 14.9 cubic feet, the trunk is quite large for the compact car class. Only the Honda Civic beats it. If you need to increase your cargo capacity, simply pull this lever, and the rear seat folds nearly flat. If you head to your local Kia dealership, you'll find the Forte starts for just under $16,000. For that price, you'll get standard power doors, windows, and mirrors, Bluetooth, audio controls mounted on the steering wheel, and air conditioning. A popular package option adds 16 inch wheels, keyless entry, and cruise control. An eco package adds a stop start function, and a loaded up EX like our tester will run you a bit over $25,000. There's a lot of stuff here for that price. Navigation, a cooled glove box, automatic climate control, heated seats, both front and in the back, ventilated driver's seat, and LED taillights. Oh, and that navigation system comes with Kia's latest version of Uvo, which is more effective than the last iteration, which was based on Microsoft technology. Under the hood of the Forte, you'll find one of two engines. Now, base LX cars are powered by a 1.8 liter four-cylinder engine rated 148 horsepower and 131 pound-feet of torque. Now our EX tester is powered by the larger 2-liter 4-cylinder engine, rated 173 horsepower and 154 pound-feet of torque. The smaller 1.8-liter 4-cylinder comes with a manual transmission and a 6-speed automatic transmission is available. The larger engine, such as our EX tester, unfortunately doesn't get a manual transmission option. You're going to get a 6-speed automatic whether you want it or not. While the competition hits 40 miles per gallon, the Forte isn't there yet. Depending on the engine and transmission you choose, numbers range from 24 miles per gallon in the city to 37 miles per gallon on the highway. Not awful, but also not class leading. Behind the wheel, the Forte isn't quick, but we also wouldn't call it sluggish. And this is us talking about the larger 2 liter engine. It revs smoothly to its 6500 RPM redline, and the electric power steering lended an agile touch. Suspension is at a comfortable point in the compact car spectrum, and ride motions are damped nicely. Safety-wise, NHTSA gave the Forte four stars overall. The IIHS gave the 2014 Forte a good rating for all the tests except for one. It did poorly in the new front small overlap test. All Fortes come with six airbags, stability control, and Bluetooth, which we consider a safety option. You can also option for a rear view camera, but only in the upper EX trim. So what's the bottom line with the 2014 Kia Forte? It's found a better focus with well-rounded performance and grabby good looks. For all the latest automotive news and reviews, be sure you're following us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. I'm Joel Fetter. Thanks for watching.